In step four of exercise number four, the following actions have to be implemented to machine the top of the bosses. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. Add a new eye machining operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select 2D Eye Machining. The Eye Machining Operation dialog box is displayed and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the operation. Several chains are picked and defined as semi open. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the top edge of a boss along the interior pocket wall as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. The chain icon is displayed in the chain list section. Right click chain 1 and choose Mark Open Edges. The Mark Open Edges dialog box is displayed. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the outer edges of the boss as shown. The entities are now marked as open and eye machining can use them for entry. Click OK to accept the selected edges as open. Repeat these steps for the remaining nine bosses along the interior pocket walls. Then, the last two chains for the bosses in the center of the interior pocket are picked and defined as open. Pick on one of the island contours as shown, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. In the chain list, right-click Chain 11 and choose Mark Chain as open. Pick on the remaining island contour as shown, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. In the chain list, Right-click Chain 12 and choose Mark Chain as Open. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 2, the smaller 6mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, select the top edge of the target model as shown. And then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the top face of a boss to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the eye machining operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 1.5. Reduce the machining level slider to 3 for the operation. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. At this point, the eye rough operation can be calculated and the eye machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation Eye Rough Bosses. Click Save and Calculate and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the eye machining toolpath at work. The tool approaches and performs the roughing toolpath on the first boss and then rapids over and performs the roughing toolpath on each of the subsequent bosses. Exit the simulation control panel. Next, 
To find the finish machining of the interior pocket corners and walls over the bosses that were defined as semi-open pockets. Click the Save and Copy button to create a copy of the current iMachining operation. Under Technology, change the operation type to iFinish. Use the copied machining geometry, 6mm tool, and milling levels definitions from the previous iRough operation. Use the copied cutting conditions generated by the Technology Wizard with a machining level aggressiveness of 3. On the Technology page, the Wall Island Offset is now set to 0 by default. Switch to the IRES Data tab. The previous IRUF operation is selected as the parent operation, and the fields are filled with the three important values needed for calculating REST material. The iFinish operation can now be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Bosses. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool approaches and performs finishing of the interior pocket corners and walls over the bosses. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 4 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedures shown in this video to define the rough and finished machining of the top of the bosses.